The Lockheed Martin SR-72 is no myth. It's a hypersonic beast ready to rewrite aviation history. Capable of blazing through the skies at Mach 6, this shadowy successor to the SR-71 Blackbird has been cloaked in secrecy for years. So, what's really happening behind Skunk Works' closed doors? Buckle up, because this story is about to take off. The SR-71 Blackbird was a legend. Screaming past Mark III, it outran over 4,000 missiles, dodging enemy defenses with raw speed. Its titanium body and radar-absorbing paint made it nearly invisible, but by 1998 the Air Force retired it. Spy satellites took over, but they couldn't match the Blackbird's agility. The world needed a new king of the skies, and Lockheed was already dreaming bigger. But could they top a machine that seemed unbeatable? Enter the SR-72, a monster designed to hit 4,100 miles per hour, twice the Blackbird's speed. Its secret weapon, a turbine-based combined cycle engine that fuses a turbojet for takeoff with a scramjet for hypersonic sprints. This tech lets the SR-72 soar past Mach 6, making it untouchable in contested airspace. Lockheed's been perfecting this since 2006, and it's no longer just a concept. But building a jet this fast comes with insane challenges. What did it take to make this dream real? Temperatures at Mach 6 can hit 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt steel. Lockheed's answer? High-performance carbon composites and ceramics, the same stuff used in space shuttles. These materials keep the SR-72's frame intact while it slices through the atmosphere. Engineers also tackled airflow issues with a E, shared inlet design for both engines, cutting drag and boosting efficiency. It's a marvel of modern tech, but something even more mind-blowing is hiding in its core. What could push this jet beyond human limits? The SR-72 might not need a pilot. Whispers from Lockheed hint at advanced AI running the show, handling navigation, evasion, and even strike decisions at hypersonic speeds. This tech could outsmart enemy defenses in milliseconds, but it's sparking debate. Can a machine be trusted with life or death calls? The Pentagon's tight-lipped but AI integration could make the SR-72 a pioneer in autonomous warfare. Yet its weapons pack an even bigger punch. What's locked and loaded? This isn't just a spy plane the SR-72 can strike. Armed with hypersonic missiles, it can hit targets across a continent in under an hour. These weapons, designed to launch at blistering speeds, give the SR-72 unmatched precision and power. Lockheed proved missiles could fire at Mach 3 decades ago with the YF-12, and now they're pushing the limits further. Imagine an aircraft that can scout and destroy before the enemy even blinks. But is it already flying in secret? Strange lights. Over Nevada's Area 51 have fueled rumors of covert SR-72 test flights, Eyewitnesses claim sleek black jets vanishing into the night, far faster than any known aircraft. Lockheed denies it, but declassified files show the SR-71 was tested similarly decades ago. With a 2025 prototype flight looming, these sightings suggest Skunk Works is further along than they're letting on. But vanishing from radar takes more than speed. How does the SR-72 stay invisible? The SR-72 redefines stealth with tech straight out of science fiction. Beyond radar-absorbing coatings, Lockheed's exploring plasma shielding, ionized gas clouds that scatter radar waves, rendering E, the Jetta Ghost. At Mach 6, this could make it undetectable to even the latest Russian and Chinese systems. Early tests of similar tech on missiles proved promising, but scaling it to an aircraft is a gamble. If it works, the SR-72 will be untouchable. Yet, the clock's ticking and the project's not slowing down. What's the latest? Lockheed's been tight-lipped, but the timeline is heating up. A prototype is slated to fly in 2025, with full service eyed for the 2030s. The project's gone dark since its 2013 reveal, but recent reports confirm it's on track. Skunk Works is pouring millions into this, despite budget overruns hitting $335 million. The Air Force's hypersonic roadmap backs it signaling serious commitment. But with so much tech on board, there's a hidden danger lurking. What could bring this jet down? The SR-72's AI and network systems are a hacker's dream target. A single breach could cripple its navigation, or worse, 
turn its weapons against allies. Cybersecurity experts warn that China's cyber warfare units are already probing US. Defense networks for weaknesses. Lockheed's building firewalls, but no systems unhackable. If enemies crack the SR-72's code, it could be grounded before it even flies. Meanwhile, global rivals are scrambling to catch up. What's their next move? Russia and China aren't just spectators. They're racing to counter the SR-72. Moscow is pouring billions into laser defenses, while Beijing's testing hypersonic interceptors. Both nations know a Mach 6 jet could shift the balance of power, striking their assets before they can react. This arms race is driving tensions sky high, with analysts warning of a new Cold War. The SR-72's stealth and speed might outpace these defenses, but it's igniting a bigger problem. What's the global cost? The SR-72's rise is shredding arms control agreements. Hypersonic tech like this wasn't accounted for in treaties like New Start, and Russia's already pulling back from talks. China's refusing to join negotiations, citing US advancements. The fear? A single SR-72 strike could trigger retaliation before anyone verifies the target. This destabilization has diplomats on edge, warning of miscalculations. Yet, a Hollywood. Twist lightens the mood for a moment. What's that about? Believe it or not, the SR-72 inspired the Dark Star jet in Top Gun Maverick. Skunk Works helped design the film's fictional plane, and it looked so real that China reportedly redirected a spy satellite to snap photos, thinking it was a secret. US craft. This mix-up shows how close the SR-72 is to reality, and how much it's freaking out global rivals. But if humans fly it, they'll face brutal conditions. Can anyone survive Mach 6? Flying at 4,300 miles per hour isn't for the faint-hearted. The SR-72's cockpit, if manned, demands spacesuit-like gear to protect pilots from G-forces and heat. Lockheed's designing life support systems to keep oxygen flowing and bodies stable, but one failure could be fatal. The SR-71's pilots wore pressurized suits. The SR-72's might need even more, like cooling vests or automated medical sensors. Still, the future might not need pilots at all. What's the next leap? The SR-72 could be fully unmanned, a drone with no human aboard. Speculations rife that Lockheed's designing it to fly solo, using AI to dodge missiles and strike targets. This would cut costs and risks, but it raises stakes. Imagine a machine deciding who lives or dies. If it works, the SR-72 could. Redefine warfare, but critics fear a glitch could spark chaos. With so much on the line, money and politics are stirring trouble. Who's footing the bill? The SR-72 is America's ace in the hypersonic race against Russia and China, who are rushing their own high-speed tech. At Mark 6, it can dodge advanced defenses like Russia's S-400 or China's A-2 AD systems, delivering strikes with near impunity. But Congress is sweating the costs, and some worry the project could face cuts. Lockheed's betting big self-funding parts of it, believing the Pentagon will see its value. But this tech could change more than warfare. What's the civilian angle? The SR-72's breakthroughs could transform commercial flight. Its heat-resistant materials and engine tech might lead to passenger jets crossing oceans in under an hour. Imagine New York to Tokyo in 90 minutes. Lockheed's already eyeing spin-offs with aerospace firms watching closely. But scaling this for civilians means slashing costs, and that's years away. Still, the public's buzzing about the possibilities. Yet there's a darker side to this jet's rise. What's the hidden cost? Hypersonic flight isn't just pricey, it's a strain on the planet. The SR-72's engines could guzzle fuel and spew emissions at unprecedented rates, alarming environmentalists. Plus, its strike power has ethicists on edge. A jet this fast could hit targets with zero warning, raising risks of unintended escalation. These concerns are buzzing in Washington, where some lawmakers question if the SR-72 is worth the fallout. Still, its potential is undeniable. What's the final verdict? The SR-72 isn't just a plane, it's a glimpse into the future of warfare. From its Mach 6 speed to its missile launching might, it's set to dominate the skies. Yet with billions on the line and global tensions rising, one question lingers. Will this hypersonic Titan soar by 2030, or will it stay grounded in secrecy?
What do you think the SR-72's first mission will be? Drop your thoughts below and stick around for more stories that push the limits.